Hey guys, 7 WWE Rocks here, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my WWE Payback Predictions, of course, that is happening on this Sunday. Kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say it's, like, useless, but this, this pay-per-view is just kind of random, and just, like, it, I don't even think it really matters, just because uh, the people are, are from SmackDown are competing on it, even though it's a Raw uh, pay-per-view, there's not even a world title match, I think, which really sucks. Um, I still, uh, I, nobody answered it in the comment section. I was hoping somebody would. I, I don't know if that's ever happened, um, uh, at a WWE pay-per-view where, or, you know, special network, whatever, um, where, you know, a world title match hasn't happened. I don't know, but there is none because apparently Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt was just made a regular match. So it's just for fun. Just who even cares at this point who wins? So eight matches on the card. It's a good card though. And I actually think a lot of these matches will be really good. But it just seems like a lot of it's just kind of fighting for no reason. Uh, but on the pre-show, let's get right into it. Enzo and Big Cass versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. I'm just going to say Enzo and Big Cass. I think they need a good win. Let's get them the win. Uh, on the main uh, show, Neville defending his Cruiserweight Championship against Austin Aries. I feel like this could go either way. Uh, but I, I honestly want Neville to retain because I'm really enjoying his Cruiserweight title run. So, I, But I would love to see Aries win it. That would be cool. But Neville retains. Bailey defending her women's championship against Alexa Bliss. Again, I could see it go either way. <sighs> I was going to go with Bailey, but let's just have Alexa Bliss win it. That'd be cool. Seth Rollins versus Samoa Joe. I'm just going to say Seth Rollins. Maybe it's his qualification or something, but I mean, he just beat Triple H, so I think he should beat Samoa Joe. Uh, but I was about to go the other way. Let's say Samoa Joe wins. Samoa Joe gets the win. Uh, Hardy Boys defending their tag titles against Sheamus and Cesaro. I don't really know where they're going with this. I feel like either Sheamus and Cesaro are going to win the tag titles or they'll probably lose and then like Sheamus will turn heel or something or Cesaro will turn heel. I hope they don't do that, but that will probably what's happened. Uh, I'll just say the Hardy Boys retain. I really think the Revival should be the ones to take off the tag titles. Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt in a House of Horrors match. Randy Orton is the current WWE champion, but... He's just having a fun match where, like, nothing's on the line. And just having a good old-fashioned horror match. Just killing someone. Just lighting someone on fire and then hitting an RKO to get the win. I'm going to say Bray Wyatt wins just because this is his match. And maybe Jinder Mahal interferes at the end. It's supposed to end in the ring. So maybe Jin Jinder Mahal interferes and costs Randy Orton the match. Let's just Bray Wyatt win, though. Uh, Kevin Owens defending his United States Championship. Whoever wins goes to SmackDown. So Chris Jericho wins, he becomes a SmackDown superstar. Kevin Owens, I think, is already. So I think even if he loses, Jericho will just come to SmackDown anyway. Uh, but Kevin Owens, of course, will retain. And what I think will be the main event, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman. I feel like this match will get a stipulation. I think it should get a stipulation. Uh, just something crazy, you know. Just let them destroy the entire arena. But I'm going to go with, I know a lot of people are saying it's too predictable and Roman Reigns is going to win, but I'm actually going to go with Braun Strowman getting the win. I know that's bold, but I think they're going to push him to face Brock or whoever, I don't know. Just let, I just say Braun Strowman gets the win. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter at 7 WWE Rocks. Let me know your predictions down below in the comment section. And tomorrow, I'm actually filming it today. I'm doing a vlog today. And that will go up tomorrow. So I'm excited. It's my first ever vlog. Thanks so much for watching. As always, have a great day.